Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we have another fur bear profile in which I'll introduce the animal that can be trapped and talk about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. Today's video is about the Mustela frinta and Mustela ermina, which more commonly called is the long-tailed and short-tailed weasels. Description Weasels are relatively small, long-bodied animals with short legs. Long-tailed weasels are about 18 inches long, including a 6-inch tail. The eyes are black in daylight, but glow bright emerald green when caught in the spotlight at night. The back fur is brown in summer, while the underparts are whitish and tinged with yellowish or brown from the chin to the groin region. The tail has a distinct black tip. Long-tailed weasels in Florida and the southwestern United States may have facial markings of a white or yellowish color. In northern areas in winter, the long-tailed weasel's fur becomes white, sometimes with yellow tints, but the tail retains its black tip. The long-tailed weasel molts twice annually, once in autumn, October to mid-November, and once in the spring, March to April. Unlike short-tailed weasels whose feet bottoms are thickly furred all year, the long-tailed weasel soles are naked in summer. Short-tailed weasels are about 13 inches overall with a 3 to 4 inch tail. Most of the year weasels are dark brown with a white throat and belly, but in late fall they turn completely white except for the black tip tail. These white pelts are known as ermine in the fur trade. The winter fur is very dense and silky, but quite closely lying and short, while the summer fur is rougher, shorter, and sparse. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below if you want us to cover a different animal as well. With your interactions, it helps us out in the YouTube algorithm and helps us create more videos for you all. We also have a fur profile playlist down below if you guys would like to check it out to see more animals profiles. We do have a merch shop below the video, be sure to go down there and get some merch and help us out. Now back to today's video. Biology. Weasels mate during the summer, but as with many members of the weasel family, they have delayed implantation and the young embryos do not begin developing until late winter or early spring. Several months after breeding occurs, litter of four, litters of four to eight young are born in April or May. Weasel dens are lined with the fur of mice that they have killed and are found in rock piles, old buildings, burrows, and hollow logs or stumps. Weasels mainly prey on small mammals up to the size of rabbits, but some birds are taken as well. Likely the closely related mink and fisher, weasels are efficient killers. Their sharp canine teeth pierce the skulls of their prey. Where prey is abundant, weasels may kill more than they can eat, caching excess prey items. Weasels eat their entire prey and do not suck the blood, as many people believe. However, when surplus killing occurs, many of their prey may only show wounds in the head or throat with no signs of feeding. Habitat Weasels prefer brushy areas mixed with tall grass such as brushy fence rows, willow swamps, beaver forage, or recent cut over areas. They may occasionally occupy more open country, especially around wood piles, barns, or old buildings. Trapping Tactics The number 110 or 120 conibear or similar size body gripping traps set inside cubbies or boxes work well for weasels especially if equipped with a treadle type trigger. A number one and a half long spring trap can also be set as a killing trap for weasels in the opening of a small cubby or a tin can if one jaw is propped in the vertical position. Lures and baits. Weasels are attracted by fresh bloody baits such as chicken or rabbit heads, the fresh meat of a muskrat or beaver, and by dead mice. Weasel musk is an excellent trapping lure that can be used for other animals as well. Mink musk is also a good weasel lure. Long-tailed weasel facts. The long-tailed weasel is also known as the bridled weasel, masked ermine, or big stout. 
The long-tailed weasel has well-developed anal scent glands which produce a strong and musky odor. Unlike skunks which spray their musk, the long-tailed weasel drags and rubs its body over surfaces in order to leave the scent to mark their territory and when startled or threatened to discourage predators. In North America, Native Americans in the region of Catadon County, North Carolina, deemed the long-tailed weasel to be a bad sign. Crossing its path meant a speedy death. Short-tailed weasel facts. A male short-tailed weasel is called a dog, hob, or jack, while a female is called a jill. The collective noun for stouts is either gang or pack. Introduced in the late 19th century in New Zealand to control rabbits, the short-tailed weasel had a devastating effect on the native bird population. It was nominated as one of the world's top 100 worst invaders. Ermine fur was used in the 15th century by Catholic monarchs, who sometimes use it as a mosetta cape as it has long been used in the ceremonial robes of members of the UK House of Lords it was also used in capes on images such as the infant Jesus of Prague. Thanks for watching this video of outdoor experiences. Please like and subscribe for more outdoor experience and informational videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer. If you have a video idea that you'd like us to talk about, feel free to put that in the comments as well. Thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one.